Okay guys, good morning. Um, I am going to do a video today on step-by-step -step how to hitch up your trailer using the equalizer weight distribution system with the four-point sway control. Okay, so I want to show you how I utilize my backup camera to uh, help me line up with the hitch correctly. When you're doing this solo, uh, you really need a backup camera, otherwise you're gonna be making a lot of trips in and out of the truck just to see if you're lined up with the hitch. So we're gonna look at the um, backup camera screen. If your vehicle didn't come equipped with vac a backup screen, um, you can purchase one to put on the back of your vehicle and accomplish the same thing. So I just use those orange guides to kind of let me know if I'm lining up correctly. Now, I'm not gonna pull all the way up into the hitch yet because I still need to jack the trailer up. But you just want to try to line up as close as you can with the, with the, um, okay I'm gonna stop there and jack up the trailer okay so uh, what I've already done prior to the video is I've done my walk around inside and outside the trailer to make sure that everything is secure and ready for travel also raise my stabilizer jacks because you don't want to have those down when you're raising up the front part of the trailer to get the, um, the truck and trailer hitched up together. That could cause you damage uh, at your jacking points in your flooring. All right, so I'm just um, taking off my padlock. Sometimes just the weather conditions make your lock a little bit stiff. Alright, I'm going to put that right there because we're going to need it. So you have to um, unlock your hitch pin and then raise the trailer so that it's above uh, the hitch ball. Okay, so now we're going to back up, hopefully just enough. I want it just so that that ball is under the hitch. Hopefully I got it right the first time. Okay, so that was successful. Some days are good, some days I have to go at it two or three different times. But as you can see, my ball is directly underneath. So I can just lower the trailer now. And you wanna keep lowering until um, the plate on your jack starts to move up off of the Okay. So now the weight of the trailer is securely on the ball and now I can put my hitch pin down and lock it in place. Okay and that's going to keep that secure. You have to remove these little pins um, on the 
stations back here that keep the sway bar secured. And then I always store my pin and my cotter key right in the um, sway bar when it's not in use. That way they don't get lost. Okay, and there's a little square hole over there if you want to show. Dawn is doing my filming for me today. Hello. So, um, she's helping me out because it's really hard to try to film this by yourself. So, thankfully, I have someone that can help me with these kind of things. Okay, so then you put the pin in and you secure it with the cutter pin. And then you may have to come around here, Dawn. So, I can show up okay. closer. All right, and so then we're gonna set the bar on top of this. And as you can see right now, it doesn't go. So what you have to do is raise the trailer higher. So just using my jack, I'm going up, and you can see the bar moving, moving up higher. to do is raise this until I don't know if I can get it in here. Okay. All right, so this is the equalizer four point weight distribution sway control bars. Okay. All right, so we're gonna take this out of its little home. I just leave it there when I'm not traveling. Know where it is. Pull my cutter pin out. Take my pin out. I'm going to lay these on my bumper. Then this just slides directly in. Sometimes you have to re grease these parts so that they slip and slide because dirt and debris gets in there and makes it difficult. And then I just almost need to get a different cotter pin. This one's kind of bending too much. And then just put your cotter pin in to secure it. Okay. And then um, we're going to fix this sway bar. Now, as you see, this one is lower than what the other one on the other side is, even though I've raised up until I can see the neck of the bolt. So. When you're in positions like that where you're um, unlevel on one side, sometimes you have to use a cheater bar. So how you do that is you just put your bar like this, put this little hook in the hole, and bring your bar up. And there you have it. Wow. <laughs> Okay, so that much is done. Get your other chain on, and then my breakaway cable. This is very important when you're towing, in case your trailer um, chains come loose, um, or something happens to disconnect the trailer from the tow vehicle. And that'll put the brakes on on your trailer. All right, so other than uh, putting my lights on and securing my uh, backup camera, I have a backup camera on the trailer with the monitor in the truck. And um, that kind of helps when you're parking. But essentially, that's how you hitch up a trailer so that you're ready to tow safely down the road and not be doing a lot of fish tailing. The other part of that is weight distribution, both inside the truck bed with your carrying capacity and inside your trailer. But I'll talk about that on another video. All right, one other, one other little uh, addition to the end of this video, just to make sure you really know to do this, is that now you have to raise your jack up off the ground so that you're not dragging it as you drive away. So you wanna make sure
jack up all the way as far as it'll go. I'm sorry about the wind. It's really windy here today. And you'll know when it's all the way up if you have an electric because of that noise. <laughs> Okay guys, um, the other thing that I'll say is, you can see that I have a set of keys dangling on my neck. I've learned from past experience um, that it's sometimes really easy when you're shifting from one position to another using one set of keys and then another. I've lost a set of keys before. Uh, and it's very scary to think that you can't get in your home. So I carry a set of keys with me in my pocket and these are the ones that I use all the time. I have my truck key in my other pocket. Right now it's in the truck. Um, but don't, don't wear any clothing that doesn't have pockets. That's my biggest uh, tip to all this. Make sure you always have pockets to put your keys in and make sure you keep your keys in your pockets. But in addition, always carry a spare set just in case, because you can inadvertently get busy thinking about something else, lay your keys down and forget to pick them up. So I have four spare sets of keys placed in strategic places that I won't tell you about, but um, you can figure those things out for yourself. Carry extra keys with you at all. I hope this has been helpful and encouraging to you ladies who uh, want to go traveling, but you're alone and you're afraid that you can't do this by yourself, let me just say, it's not that difficult. There's a slight, small learning curve, but you can do this. It's not that hard. All right, everyone, have a good day and I'll see you in the next video.